All right. This is uh, Mama Nia sitting in the office with members of Spirit House and all of us are none. They're about to tell you why us and why now. Hi, I'm Brian and I met Spirit House when I was released from prison in 2015. And Spirit House basically gave me a space to get away from the streets and a way to use my life experiences for better. I met Spirit House coming off a of post release in 2012. With me being trained by Spirit House on this work and being able to participate as all of us a number member, me being directly impacted, we're able to take the education into our own communities. And with this education, we're able to organize our people. We were just having a conversation around when somebody knows something intellectually, and when someone knows something because they actually have gone through it. And we were using an example of birthing and the, what people call the ring of fire, which is when you are right at that moment when the baby's actually getting ready to come into the world. And people can tell you what that feels like, but unless you've actually done it, you don't, you don't know. Why it's important for Spear House to do the work that we, are, we have been doing and continue to do and why now is an important time, is that we're in a ring of fire. I can't speak for no one else's experiences, but for my experiences, after spending 10 years in federal prison and coming home with no outlet, no outreach, and coming to Spirit House and all of us and none, it's like, it's a positive vibe. It's people that understand what I've been through. It's people who have family that have been through what I've been through. For us, by us is real. Mm -hmm. That's very real because it comes from a place of application and practice. Mm -hmm. There are all these programs that come from thought tanks and government um, back rooms that are like, I know what the community needs. They need more nutrients in their diet, so let's figure out how to put kale gardens in every hood in every borough. Um, and then they're like, what happened? We gave them kale. It didn't work. Mm -hmm. um, not realizing that everybody in the neighborhood would prefer you had to give them green beans or collards, mm -hmm. and you never actually asked. You didn't ask. This whole idea of um, creating a world without prisons or dismantling the prison industrial complex, the question always is, and then what? What are you replacing it with? And if you're not practicing something different, mm -hmm. then it doesn't make any sense to say we're going to dismantle something and not have anything right. in its place. Right. Going through harm-free zone, it made me realize what kind of world I want my son to grow up in. Mm -hmm. And it made me realize that it's tangible now. It can actually happen as opposed to it just being this fairy tale dream I have in my head of, oh, this is what I want the world to look like with him. I think that harm-free zone is so powerful. It transcends anybody's reality, and we want people to grab hold of it um, and to own it.